you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before listening on. We can see that we have an object placed in front of a converging lens, and in that case we can apply the thin lens equation. And in that equation we have 1 divided by the object distance plus 1 divided by the image distance equaling 1 divided by the focal length. What we want to do in the first part of this problem is locate the initial image formed by this converging lens. So why don't we go ahead and subtract 1 over p over to the right hand side. And then in order to solve for the image distance i, we can reciprocate both sides of the equation. In effect, that would be raising each side to the negative 1. That's going to bring the image distance up into the numerator. And for the object distance p, we can see from the diagram that the distance from the converging lens to the object is indicated to be 2 times f1. So we can substitute 2f1 in for p. And in fact, we have to go back and put a subscript of 1 on the focal length since we're looking at the first lens. Now we can solve this equation for i by finding a common denominator. We can multiply the denominator here by 2 as well as the numerator. And then we're going to have 2 minus 1 in the numerator, which of course will, will give us just 1. So in effect, we're left with 1 over 2f1, and when we reciprocate that, we would get 2f1. So that means that the initial image is located at a distance of 2f1. Now it came out positive, and for lenses, that means the image will be formed on the right side of the lens. So perhaps we can place an image, perhaps right there, and we can mark that distance as being equal to 2 times f1. Now, the image marked by x is going to serve as the object for this mirror that's placed over on the right-hand side. Now, we need to figure out the object distance, that is, the distance from x that we've marked over to the mirror. And if we look carefully, we can see that since this distance from here all the way to here is 2 times f1 plus f2, and this distance is 2f1, if we subtract those two distances, that's going to give us the object distance from this x spot over to the mirror. So in effect, the object distance can be written as 2f1 plus f2, and then minus 2f1. And we can simplify this by distributing the two, and then canceling out the 2f1 and minus 2f1 to give us 2f2. So that's going to be the object distance to this mirror right here. Now that we have that object distance to the concave mirror, we can apply the same equation again to locate the image produced by that concave mirror. So here is that equation. Notice we're using f2 this time because that is the focal length of the concave mirror. We're trying to find the image distance produced by the mirror, so let's once again subtract 1 over p to the other side. We could then reciprocate both the left hand and right hand sides. And then for the object distance, remember we had just found that to be 2f2, so we could substitute that into the equation. To simplify the expression on the right-hand side, we'll need to find a common denominator, so let's multiply the denominator here by 2 as well as the numerator. That's going to give us 2 minus 1 in the numerator, which of course can simplify to 1. And then if we reciprocate the right-hand side, we can see that the image distance becomes 2f2. Notice that this image distance of 2f2 is positive, and for mirrors, a positive image distance will place that image to the left side of the mirror. And so our image is once again located back at the position that we had marked x, since that distance also was 2f2. Now, in the final phase of this problem, the image that's formed here is going to serve as the object one more time for the converging lens. We can see from the diagram that the distance from this spot back to the converging lens is 2f1. In other words, p will equal 2f1. So in essence, to cap off this problem, we have an image that's located right here at x. It's going to serve as an object for the converging lens one more time, the object distance being 2f1, and our objective is to find the final image distance. And so since we're using the lens one more time, we're going to use a focal length of f1. Let's subtract the 1 over p one more time. We will reciprocate both sides. 
We'll then substitute in the object distance of 2f1. We'll find the common denominator by once again multiplying by 2. And then when we reciprocate the right hand side we get 2f1. Now that came out positive which means that the image is located on the opposite side of the converging lens opposite to the object. So our image will be located at 2f1 which as we can see is going to place that final image right back at the same location as the original object. So when the question in part A asks what is the distance between the object and that final image, well the answer will be zero because the image and the object are basically superimposed right on top of each other. Furthermore, since that image distance was positive, that's going to render the image as being real. And so finally, we have answered both parts of the question. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and subscribe. Also, send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I'll do my best to respond to it on YouTube.